Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to St. Michael's e-learning classes. My name is Francis, sir. And today, we will be solving the question answers, fill in the blanks, etc. of chapter 4 of social science for standard 5. And the name of the chapter number 4 is Realms of the Earth. So, let's solve the question answers, fill in the blanks, etc. accordingly. Question A. Fill in the blanks. Question number one. The earth is composed of four realms or spheres. Question number two. Lithosphere has three layers. Question number three. Since 71% of the earth is covered with water, it is also known as the blue planet. Question number four. Rain and snow are forms of water. Question number 5. Atmosphere is a mixture of many gases. Let's see the next question. Question B. Choose the correct answer. Question number 1. Nearly 79% of the Earth's atmosphere consists of the correct answer is nitrogen. I have given the tick mark so you can easily understand. Question number 2. Continuous movement of water in the environment is known as the correct answer is water cycle. Question number 3. Dash is the realm of land and the answer is lithosphere. Question number 4. The innermost layer of the earth is dash and the correct answer is core. Let's see question number C. Answer the following in few words. Question number 1. Name three living and three non-living components of the earth. And the answer is the three living and three non-living components of the earth are plants, animals and us and land, water and air respectively. Question number two. Why is the inner core of the earth solid? And the answer is the inner core of the earth is solid because of the immense force exerted on it by the upper layers. Let's see the next question. What is water cycle? Water in rivers and oceans moves into the atmosphere and then goes back to the rivers and oceans. This continuous movement of water is known as the water cycle. Question number four. Arrange mesosphere, exosphere, stratosphere, troposphere and ionosphere in the order of their occurrence starting from lowest to highest. And the answer is from the ground towards the sky that is from lowest to highest the layers of the atmosphere are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere and exosphere. Let's see the next question. Question number 5. What is biosphere? Biosphere is the sphere where life exists on earth. Now let's see question number D. Answer the following in detail. Question 1. Describe the different layers in the lithosphere. Lithosphere consists of three layers. These are the crust, mantle and the core. Of these, the core is further divided into the inner core and the outer core. Question number 2. Why is the earth known as the blue planet? Hydrosphere is a sphere of the water. It covers nearly 71% of the earth's surface. Hence, the earth is known as the blue planet. Question number 3. List at least one important point of each realm of the earth. The answer is, lithosphere is the realm of the land and contains the structure of the earth. Hydrosphere is a sphere of water and includes oceans, rivers and lakes on the surface of the earth. Atmosphere is the realm of air and supports life on earth. Let's see the next question. Explain the importance of the biosphere. Biosphere is a sphere where life exists on earth. Life exists everywhere on land, in air and water. So. The biosphere overlaps all these spheres. It comprises the world of all the plants and animals, including ourselves. 
It also comprises the natural surroundings in which all of us interact and influence each other. Hence, the biosphere ins includes both the living and the non-living components. Now, let's solve the fill in the blanks, question answers, etc. of chapter 5 for standard 5. The name of chapter number 5 is continents and oceans. So let's begin. Question A, fill in the blanks. Number 1, land and water cover 29 and 71% of the earth's surface respectively. Question number 2, continents and oceans are the largest landform and water body on earth respectively. Question number 3, the isthmus of Panama connects North America to South America and Bering Sea separates it from Asia. Question number 4. Southern Ocean is also known as the Antarctic Ocean. Let's see the next question. Question B match the following. Number 1. Pacific Ocean. Now, as you can see my dear children, I have noted down the answer as you can see where my finger is getting pointed. So, you can understand that which particular ocean is highlighting which particular answer like question number one pacific ocean the answer to this is mariana trench so you can see the number with respect to question and you can easily understand so the answer for number one pacific ocean is mariana trench for number two atlantic ocean it is mid atlantic ridge for question three indian ocean it is triangle in shape for question four antarctic ocean it is southern ocean and question 5, Arctic Ocean, it is Arctic Circle. Now, let's see the next question. Answer the following in, in few words. List all the continents of the world from smallest to largest. So, the answer to this question is, in the order of smallest to largest, the continents of the world are Australia, Europe, Antarctica, South America, North America, Africa and Asia. Question number two. What are oceans? An ocean is one large continuous body of water surrounding the continents. Let's see the next question. Question number three. Name the deserts found in Asia, Africa and South America. So the answer is the deserts found in Asia, Africa and South America are as follows. A. For Asia, it is Gobi Desert and Arabian Desert. B. Africa, it is Sahara Desert. And C. South America is the Atacama Desert. Let's see question number 4. Name the longest and the largest rivers of the world. So the answer is, the longest river of the world is the Nile. And the largest river of the world is the Amazon. Now let's see question number D. Answer the following in detail. Write a note on the largest continent of earth so the answer is asia is the largest continent and covers nearly one third of the land area of earth it is surrounded by oceans on three sides arctic ocean to the north pacific ocean to the east and the indian ocean to the south it has mount everest as the highest peak and the dead sea which is the world's lowest point on land it has the Gobi Desert, which is a cold desert, and the Arabian Desert, which is a hot desert. The Himalayas are the world's largest and highest mountain range. Japan, China, and India are some prominent countries in this continent. Let's see the next question. What are the main physiographic features of South America? The answer is, South America has several physiographic marvels. For example, the Andes is the world's longest continuous mountain range. Mount Aconcagua is the highest peak in South America. The Amazon is the world's largest river and supports the world's densest rainforest. The Angel Falls in Venezuela is the highest waterfall in the world. The Atacama Desert in Chile is the driest place on our planet. Now let's see the last question. Which is the white continent and why is it called so? So the answer is Antarctica is known as the white continent or the frozen continent because it is covered by a thick layer of permanent ice. 
this makes it the coldest continent in the world so the condition makes it very difficult for human survival so my dear students in this way we have completed the question answers fill in the blanks etc of chapter 4 and chapter number 5 of social science for standard 5 respectively thank you